hi there and welcome to a new tutorial in version 360 here we'll continue working on the BMW Z4 project and welcome to a new episode that's that I activate the, the right plan and I will working on the side of this car and step by step we will achieve this uh, car okay please be on time i will share uh, one episode in two weeks okay as i said in the last episode i'm working on another project in the same times so, okay i'm working on the v12 engine you can find it in my channel v12 engine modeled in fusion 360 you will find all um, tutorials in my website you will find it in the description scammer9.com then for the paypal episode you can download it from the store you will find all this on the website Returning to the tutorial, I'm just use the the spline made with uh, three points. I did that because with three points, you can um, easily control your spline. Okay, when you make too many points you can't control it as you want and you can um, you can't uh, um, adapt it to your car and the result is you have not uh, able to see um, the nice the nice surface at the end okay Use the M key to adjust the spline to the uh, reference image. Okay. And that's the controllers. Just pick it and move this arrow. All thing is all right here. Here I add uh, like a guideline, okay, uh, to use the left feature between uh, two uh, two edges. I want just to add uh, that guide, but uh, it's not uh, it's not an obligation to to add them, okay, but just to have a nice uh, a nicer result, okay. In this tutorial, I actually rate some uh, some zone of the video, just uh, to see the final result. And for you, you can uh, you can design it as you want, and just to see the result if if it's the same. Okay. Here, I will. Uh, match the the surfaces okay goal here is to make uh, one edges okay when you make the loft you can select only one edges not segment okay for this when you use the loft feature as you can see here fusion let me to select only one edge here I have the second edge and here for the right, 
you can just select this one and add this one in the other side and only e all thing is all right here okay have nice nice your result And once you finish this, add another spline in the right plane. Okay, starting with the 3D view here. I pick the point that the only goal, goal is to, uh, to make coincidence with the 3D uh, part. Okay, or to the surface. Then here you can use the M key uh, to move uh, the, the, the this point, okay? And change view like this to to control uh, to more control your. Um, your uh, spline okay and add some uh, constraint like a uh, tangency in the same uh, sketch I will add another another spline between these points effectively the the this uh, surfaces is not uh, it's not hard to to do but in the same time it's not easy okay that uh, the, the one thing that you have to control is the point and the control key using the m key okay once you arrive to control of this i know that you can do it and if you have any question uh, post it in the comment or send it to me okay and here you you did a nice result here and we have just to add more complex shape um, in this side okay for here because we have a complex shape I suggest to you to use wireframe um, to see the the back of uh, the ref the reference image. Okay, I will accelerate the video to to see more result. Okay. Once you finish uh, the, the the sketch in the 2D uh, view, okay. Just use the the trim the trim um, tool to trim all of this uh, of the surfaces, okay. 
think I have near here. Okay, we have a nice hole here. Then the next step is to add this um, this edge. Okay. Explain that uh, you want to add here. Yes, I, as you can see here, we will pick the the point in the 2D, but I'm using 3D mode or the 3D view to that attach the points to my uh, to my edges. Okay. Then use the M key to move the point. Okay. As this uh, this plane, I want to add add it to the to the um, to this uh, shape. Okay, to the shape to just to, to guide the shape and make the same for like the um, BMW Z4. Okay. Then I will actually write the video and see the nice result uh, when I finish on it, okay? Once you finish all of this, uh, you want to to add the uh, tangency between the spline and these edges. Okay, just select the two of them and and make it tangent. Okay. As you can see, you have to. As you can see here, you have to make the same the same um, spline here okay then before to make a loft you have to match the surfaces okay to have the same uh, edge when you select it okay on the left feature you have just select uh, this um, this uh, edge and the second edge is this one and the right is this one or the guide of the surface okay you have selected two of them or you can see the here see you have not make a nearer here okay I think that I forgot to add another okay you know just select the uh, the spline and you have a nice result here okay just if you want to to reverse the direction of the surfaces okay as you can see here okay we did it thanks uh, for all subscribers and see you